good day today i'm going to talk about a very interesting story which can be very useful for most of you this is about one of my students very close to me and uh, he has his own f- structural consultancy firm and uh, whenever he gets uh, large projects he get the designs reviewed by me so we are very close and uh, he passed out in 1996 from monoto university and then he followed uh, his uh, msc also at uh, you know monoto following our structural engineering mnj he has mnj and then we actually actually thought of doing a phd but it did not materialize because uh, i was also not well uh, and uh, so we could not make a good progress because i was i had this no problem that is created by holding the mouse in the wrong way so the correct way of holding the mouse is always keep the mouse if you are a right hander keep the mouse on the left hand side of the computer and operate it with the right hand so that the elbow will rest on the table that's a correct way on the other hand if you want to keep it on the right hand side make sure you keep your elbow on the arm's rest so that no weight of the arm will be transferred to the shoulder if the weight of the arm is transferred to the shoulder and if you use the mouse for hours you will definitely get a huge neck related problem and it will uh, it will immobilize the uh, nerve and you get headache and huge trouble so make sure you never transfer the weight of the arm to your shoulder when you are using the computer so i i suffered from this for about 8 9 years and then only i realized it was a posture related illness not a real illness but uh, by that time you know uh, during that 9 years you know i recovered once in a while but you know the 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 suffering was there most of the time so uh, this engineer uh, called for me about 1 and 1/2 years ago and uh, told me you know he's having uh, he can he asked me if he can talk to me and i said okay and he said uh, he's having a little trouble because he has been diagnosed of a bowel cancer so uh, and he said uh, he got a very good surgeon and the surgeon did a perfect job and uh, the surgery was done about one week ago and he's uh, very fast recovering so he asked me what to do and uh, because he has already contacted an oncologist but he wanted to get some opinion so i told him not to waste any, any time and also i asked him to go for a european manufactured a very good very high quality chemotherapy even though it can cost over 1 million rupees i knew he has enough wealth and so i had no problem in recommending him to go for a european drug and then i told him while he is doing that we'll run a parallel course of uh, course of uh, medicine or treatment that will make chemotherapy to be very effective so chemotherapy drugs are generally metal based like platinum and all kinds of metal based the idea is you know you you get cancer cells to consume this metal based uh, drug so that uh, cancer cells will uh, s- stop growing or they will be destroyed so it's like you know feeding stones to a man so the if you feed the man with stones he will die and similarly we feed the cancer cells with metals heavy metals so that cancer cells will die so that's how it works so basically uh, i told him now we have to address the root cause for his cancer and he had no mental trauma 
so it could it should be that you know he has accumulated some uh, some uh, toxins in his body and uh, and chemotherapy has no no ability to remove the toxins from the body so i propose i propose to him that you know we'll do something that can uh, remove toxins from his body so that the chances of him getting the cancer again uh, can be minimized and also that when we are removing the toxins from the body the body immunity system will become you know regain its usual power to uh, suppress cancer cells so that also that is also a very useful way of treating cancer so uh, i i gave him a small decoction and the decoction contained uh, arulu bulu rasakinda uh, senekola uh, dummela dandu uh, rathadun ahalapottu kohambapottu belimol and uh, valmi so you you have to have 12 items and uh, you and this is a very simple way of uh, detoxifying the body when you consume it over about one month with about uh, you know five days per week you will drink this so over one month you will drink about 20 decoctions and that would be sufficient to remove most of the toxins that have been accumulated in your body while uh, restoring the immunity system almost fully and then i recommended him because you know most of the cancer occur when your body is acidic so so we had to convert your body to be basic so what he do is uh, i asked him to drink 300 grams of carrot blended and added with a slice of lemon not lime lime is acidic lemon is basic so you add a slice of lemon and you drink it over the whole morning and then uh, there's another very good uh, food that can remove all kinds of uh, uh, there are many ailments like stones in your body and all that stones in the bladder or whatever and that's kakiri so what you do is you consume kakiri a uh, raw kakiri so what you do is you take half a uh, about half a uh, half a fruit of kakiri then slice it and add a little bit of bees honey pure pure call high quality bees honey and you eat it raw eat it raw and every day morning you eat it you don't do it in the night because sometimes you can get flame attacks when you eat kakiri in the night it's a very cooling uh, but it will it will dissolve any any growth in the body and also stones in the bladder so you do that so you eat kakiri every day and this and this are very good f- food that can attack cancer cells and that is called manioc so you boil manioc grown properly uh, n- without any chemicals so you get n- naturally grown manioc and uh, eat about 200 grams every day for your breakfast for about one month and that will again destroy any cancer cell in your body and also uh, there's a very good plant called caterpillar that is grown everywhere and i also have a huge caterpillar plant uh, in our garden and our university also has a lot of caterpillar trees and when uh, when one of our former vice chancellor professor vijay sekara had some complication he did not go for any chemotherapy or anything he drank caterpillar every day five six times and in less than one month after the operation he uh, he he was cured fully i mean he never had to take uh, any uh, chemotherapy but he had an operation but after that uh, he did not have any problem he drank lot of caterpillar and uh, he still living but now he is having little complications he's, he's he's a pretty all pretty uh, elderly person so i think more than 75 years of age uh, but still going well so then uh, then uh, we i also asked him to go to a spiritual leader and talk to him so that you know 
I seem to do meditation and also there's another technique called relaxation technique. You can go to internet and uh, type uh, uh, relaxation for relaxation techniques for cancer. Then uh, you can get uh, various relaxation techniques. And the idea of relaxation techniques is to relax the body and relieve stress from your body so that uh, the chances of uh, cancer cells being replaced by good cells will be very high. So you do relaxation, drink carrot, caterpillar, eat manioc, uh, drink decoctions for detoxifying, and then talk with the spiritual leader uh, who is willing to, uh, you know, uh, willing to calm your mind. So you do all these things. And uh, immediately you find that your various counts, blood counts are improving, and the, even the oncologist will say, I have never seen a chemotherapy working so well. And these kind of therapies are very good for blood cancers, because blood cancers occur due to high toxicity level in the body. So they work very well against blood cancers. And when one of my batchmates had a blood cancer, I actually helped him to recover very well. And uh, although he died later, after about two years, he died because, you know, he had, as was, as was his fate, because we knew he is not having, he, he, he's having very bad times. His stars are, were very bad. So we knew that it's going to happen, but we did not give up. We did everything possible, and we got him even to go to work and run his company. So, so basically, cancer is not a major problem. You get it when you have bad times, but we have to face it with a smile. We should not think we'll die. We should always believe the modern medicine, Western medicine is so good. The surgeons are so good, they can do surgery, remove cancer. Then we have top quality drugs based on high quality research. They are chemotherapy drugs and I always prefer drug than the radiation. Because sometimes uh, if the radiation is not done properly, you might damage nearby organs. But whereas chemotherapy drugs are so good, you go for it. And then we do everything possible to keep the patient very busy so that he has no time to think about his cancer. He's doing many things and every day the, the report's becoming very good and the patient getting confidence. He's talking to a spiritual leader. He's spending some time, some of his spare time. Relax, doing relaxation or meditation. So, out about two, three months, you'll find the patient is so happy that, you know, he has fully recovered. Provided his stars are good. So sometimes, some people have very bad stars. And because they have done so many bad things in the past lives, so you'll find, you know, it's very difficult to recover them. Even if you try to help, they might not do the medication properly and then, you know, mess up with the cancer. So if you have a cancer, don't worry. Cancer is curable. Only thing is we should face it with courage and with hope that we are going to overcome cancer. And in our Sri Lankan context, we do many things to help the cancer. And it is the same in USA as well. And I, am, I, I know one one doc, one nurse who has a PhD, and she's a nursing manager, and she told me she's on, she's she has worked with cancer patients, uh, and she told me when I said this is how we handle it, she told me in in America in USA before they give chemotherapy, they use Sancot tablet. Sancot is Senecola, is made out of Senecola, grown in Thailand. A German person took Senecola from Sri Lanka to Germany and made a tablet and then in, in tropical climatic conditions of the island, he grows Senecola in big way and Senecola will detoxify your body of all toxins and if you want to prevent cancer, you are living in a developed country like Australia, USA, Canada, you can buy Senecola tablet online from Amazon and you can also buy Tripala online and if you 
uh, use about two or three triple i every day night before you go to sleep and use sankot once in a while to detoxify your body of all the chemicals uh, that are that we accumulate due to the food that we consume then you can prevent cancer thank you